Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, and welcome back to a brand new NBA video today here on the channel. And today, I'm going to be talking about why the Portland Trailblazers need to make drastic changes to their roster right now in order to win a championship. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I post NBA content like this all the time, and we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like. That would be great. Without further ado, let's go straight into it. So the Portland Trailblazers are in that spot in the NBA where they're not a great team, but they're not a terrible team. They're in the middle of the NBA. Not a title contending team, but not a team that's gonna get a really good draft pick. And that is probably the worst spot to be in as a team just because you're not getting a high pick obviously and you are not contending for championships they're gonna always be like a first or second round exit i know they had that one really good year in 2019 but in my opinion that was a fluke they got swept by golden state the next round without kevin durant so usually portland's gonna be like a five to seven seed in the west go out in the first or maximum second round which is not a good spot to be in because every single time they end up losing in the playoffs you would think they would make major changes you would think they would separate the core, try to go in a different direction, literally do anything different to get a different result. But that's not the case with the Portland Trailblazers. They will continue to run basically the same core from last year and the year prior and the year prior to get the same exact result. And they definitely make minor tweaks to the roster. I'm not saying they don't change their team at all because they have made moves. But just overall, as an entire roster, they aren't making moves to put them in a good spot to win a championship. They're making small moves that don't really matter that much. Like trading Gary Trent Jr. from Norman Powell, not a big move at all. Both of those players are good. Gary Trent's better defensively. Norman Powell's better offensively. But Gary Trent has a lot more potential. He's much younger, so... I wasn't a big fan of that trade. Norman Powell, you know what he is. He's a great scorer, but I feel like in the future, Gary Trent's going to be a better option. But again, that would be a move a team that was on the brink of winning a championship would make, but the Portland Trailblazers are not there right now, and they just gave up a guy in Gary Trent Jr. who has a great, great future. So I don't know about that move, but they still haven't really made any moves in like four or five years that would really accelerate them to actually being a title favorite because... They could be in the playoffs, but no one's picking Portland to win the NBA championship. So I feel like they need to make some drastic changes to their roster. And it needs to happen now. While Damian Lillard is still one of the best players in the NBA. Most of the time, a top three point guard in the league. Damian Lillard is in his prime right now. You cannot keep on waiting to get Damian Lillard a legit second option. I really like CJ McCollum. I really, really do. But... Damian Lillard right now is 30 years old. You cannot keep on running it back with the same exact squad from four or five years ago, the same core, and expect to win a championship. Again, CJ McCollum is a great player, but he's not a number two option on a championship team. And if they want to contend for a championship, they got to make some big moves. Because no matter what right now with their current team, they're not winning a championship. So in my opinion, CJ McCollum needs to be traded. I would say trade CJ McCollum, package him with other picks, assets, stuff like that and try to get another star to play with Damian Lillard a legit second option on a championship team CJ McCollum's just not that CJ McCollum is a great great third option on a championship team and I think Damian Lillard could be a number one option on a championship team Dame needs players that complement him not the same exact play style as himself CJ McCollum and Damian Lillard are both small guards they both shoot a lot of three-pointers they're not great defensively so it's just overall a defensive liability having CJ and Dame in the same backcourt. And that's why they rank 29th in defensive rating this year. That's just absolutely abysmal. 29th in defensive rating. There are teams obviously tanking that have better defenses than the Portland Trailblazers. And practically every single game in the playoffs, Damian Lillard has to go berserk, drop like 45 points to give Portland a chance to win. And that's just not sustainable. And they have to make some big moves. It's basically the same team every year. And as the current team is built, there's not really a future. Again, Dame is 30. He's not old, but he is still 30. And in a couple of years from now, if they keep on doing this, he's going to be like 32, 33. The time is now. Dame is still an amazing player, and they got to use him to his full advantage while he's still this good. Their defense is always terrible, and I know their personnel is not great. They have Ennis Cantor, Yusef Nurkic, Carmelo Anthony, Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum. None of those guys are great defensive players, but 29th in defense, they can do a lot, a lot better than that. Look at a team like the Raptors. They were kind of in a spot where they were always a good seed, 
but no one really picked him to win the championship. They made a big move. They got rid of DeMar DeRozan, brought in Kawhi Leonard, and boom, they won a championship that year. I mean, just having Damian Lillard playing with another guard that cannot defend is a terrible fit. And that's one of the reasons why they're 29th in defense. And the Western Conference is only getting better and better. The Utah Jazz, Phoenix Suns, Denver Nuggets, Memphis Grizzlies, all those teams are getting better and the Trailblazers are getting worse every single season they do not make a big change so it's really just keep dame and anyone else is up for grabs and they gotta try to find a way to put together a championship roster while dame is still in his prime anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on why the portland trailblazers need to make drastic changes i just think they should trade cj mccollum and keep dame just try to build a good team around dame that could lead them to actual playoff success if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to hit that subscribe button down below we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers and of course guys make sure to drop a like on today's video that helped me out a ton and if you guys do want to watch more of my nba videos I'm going to leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that I think you guys would really, really enjoy. So have a great rest of your day, guys. It's been Story of Sam, and I'm out. Peace.